Yo guys, what's going on today? It's your boy Kavi. Today I'm going to be teaching y'all how to make some ambient R&B Drake kind of vibes. All of the presets from this sample were made in my new analog lab bank, which comes with 40 presets, 64 one shots, and 20 loops. If you guys want that, the link to get that is in the description below, and you can use my code KXVI30 for 30% off that. And as always, you can download this loop for free in the link in the description as well. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this. First thing I did with this sample was grab these keys from my new analog lab bank. They're called the Remorse Keys. I threw on some Vinyl 2 from RC20, and I also threw on some Valhalla Reverb, and this is what the chord progression sounds like. So this chord progression is actually pretty simple. The first thing I did, I came up with this little bass line which I use in probably like half of my Drake samples. And that's pretty much the whole idea, it's, it's just those three notes and you build chords off that. So I started off with this major chord, major seventh, minor seventh, down to another minor seventh. And then to switch it up for the next bar, I just reversed the order of them. They're the same exact chords, but I just reversed the order in which I played them to kind of just add some variation, I guess. And then on the second section, I added a, just a couple more notes to differentiate it. Next thing I did was bounce that to audio because I didn't like how high pitched it was. I pitched it down eight semitones, but that took away some of the highs. So boosted the high frequencies, put on some more Valhalla reverb really drowned it out in reverb for this one. And then I put a gain just to make it a little bit louder. And this is what the piano sounds like after that. So as you can tell, it's much more like emotional now. And it sounds kind of messed up, but in a good way, when you pitch down the audio, it like, it distorts it a little bit and it, it loses some quality, but that's what you want with these R&B kind of samples. Next thing I did was I grabbed this Keys Mystery preset from my bank and I drew a pattern with the same exact chords, nothing different, just copied and pasted. Threw on some reverb, little EQ, just decimal work to take out some frequencies. And this is what that sounds like. So it's the same exact progression, there's really nothing to it. I just wanted a, a softer sound for a different part of the beat. The next thing I did to that was added a shaper box. I actually don't have it in this project file, I don't think. It's uh, side chaining a little bit just to give it a cool vibe. So you can hear it, it kind of sounds choppy, just gave it more of a, a rhythm to it. The next thing I did was added this bass from my analog lab bank. This bass is crazy, I've been using it in I swear almost every sample and it was one of the last sounds I made so I'm glad I did. It's called the uh, square one bass and this is what that sounds like. So it's just following the same root notes as I played on the piano chords. There's really, there's literally nothing to it except just copying the root notes. Basically at that point, I just needed a vocal and a couple of effects and then I, I felt like the loop was pretty much done. I grabbed this vocal from my new vocal kit, which is on vocalsupply.com, Shantae Marie Vocals Volume 2. And this is what that vocal sounds like.
So it's a pretty simple vocal. I put that same exact side chaining preset from Shaper Box on it just to match the rhythm that I had going with the other keys right there. Of course, I added some chimes. Gotta add those in all the Drake loops. The next thing that I added that I just, I thought really took this loop to a different level was this one shot, which is from the one shot kit in the new Confessions Bank. Put some Decimord on this to cut out some of the high frequencies. And I also threw a Valhalla reverb on to make it more ambient and match the sample. Pitched it to match the sample. And this is what that sounds like. So it was just, it's just like a cool synth run kind of thing. So, you know, I could have stopped there, but I didn't. I added this other accent just to, to kind of act as like a transition. And uh, this is what that sounds like. All I did for that was I just reversed an accent that's from my one shot kit. And then get into another section of the beat. Uh, I reversed the piano chords. And the way you want to do this is you want to chop it up. As you can see here, I have everything chopped up. I chopped it up so that whenever you reverse it, it's in the same exact order as what you played the chords in, so it doesn't mess up the progression at all. Uh, I added some decimal and reverb to it. Following the same chords, just reversed. For that section, I took out the vocal just to kind of add some variation, make sure it wasn't the same thing the whole entire way. And then this last section, which I think is super dope, I made this uh, little chant right here, which is in my one-shot kit. I kind of was going for like 7 a.m. and on Bertle Path, I think that's what you call it, the Drake song. I just laid some textures together and some chants and chopped it up, made it like a cool little loop with it. I added Decimal Word on this. This is what it sounds like after that. So it's just like a kind of for a texture on this last part of the loop. So it sounds dope right now, but it's missing a little something. So what I did is I went back to my analog lab bank and I grabbed this slippery lead which is like my go-to lead right now for these Drake R&B kind of samples. When I played this pattern, I just kind of played on my keyboard a little bit. I added a delay to this from Arturia, Valhalla Reverb, and then I cut out the highs with Decimal. That's pretty much the final loop. All the sounds were with my analog lab bank. Don't forget that. And without further ado, let's get right into the drums. So these drums are pretty simple. So the first thing that I started with, which I always start with on these, um, is a kick. And I just followed the, the rhythm of the piano with it. So with the sample, it sounds like this. And as you can hear, every kick besides this one right here is, is hitting with the piano. So everything's kind of cohesive. Next thing I added was this little open hat. Just every four bars. Next thing I added was this hi-hat, which is pretty much how I did it was this hi-hat on every half step. Then I added these little rolls in between. And this is what that sounds like. Last thing that this beat needed was just a snare. I grabbed this Just Blaze snare, but all together so far, it's something like this. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If y'all made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you. Don't forget to cop that new Analog Lab bank. I promise you won't regret it, it's fire. I recorded all the sounds with the, not all, but I recorded a lot of the sounds with this Prophet analog synth super high quality stuff appreciate y'all watching download the loop for free below and yeah i'll catch y'all in the next one peace <laughs>